Hey guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We got a lot to discuss. First topic is Nicki Minaj teasing her Met Gala return. Okay. Um, Nicki Minaj recently um, went on Vogue's Instagram and liked a post alluding to her Met Gala return. She liked a post which um, was talking about the theme of the Met um, in 2024, um, which has been officially scheduled for May 6th of 2024. The theme is Sleeping Beauties and Rewakening Fashion, okay? Now, if you guys remember, the last Met Nikki went to was in 2022. Um, she did not go to... This year's Met, um, which was a tribute to Karl Lagerfeld, um, who loved Nikki. And I do feel like this year's Met was kind of a bust, in my opinion. And I do think that, you know, Nikki should go to the Met um, next year, okay? Um, if she can fit it into her tour schedule, okay? I think she should definitely go um, because Nikki um, usually always kills the Met. Okay, and everybody's waiting to see her. Also, Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 alternative cover 2 um, sold out in the UK on her website. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj on that. Um, I believe um, she has um, like 35,000 in pure sales so far. Okay, which is pretty good from the pre-orders. Um, so she's definitely going to outsell the girls. And Garbage Gang, the Crackpots, the Dotties, are supporting Nicki Minaj. They have RSVP for certain cities that Nicki Minaj revealed that she might tour in. Okay? You know, they got six different fan bases to um, do a RSVP. So she can try to do a large venue and then no one will show up. But this is actually a stupid idea because Nikki already said she was doing arenas. Okay, for every one of them. And it probably is going to go by ticket sales, not people RSVPing. Okay, but I really do believe that, you know, the Thotties, um, Garbage Gang, um, the Whiskers, they're all are Nikki fans that turn into hybrid barbs, okay? Like the Cardi B fans, they were Nikki fans at one moment in time. And they secretly want to see Nikki on tour um, because Shark Teeth um, hasn't been on tour since she was a stripper, okay? So she used to tour to different strip clubs and dance for men and rob them and give them substances, which she openly admitted. But she never been on a war tour, she was on a thotting and bopping tour, okay? And that's the only tour she's ever been on. Moving on to Doja. The Scammies want Doja to perform too. I think she's nominated for like three or four Scammies um, for the 2024 Scammies. But um, I hope she gets snubbed. I'll be honest with you. I don't really feel like Doja Cat deserves a Scammy nomination for any music that she put out. Um, and I definitely don't want to see her perform um, Demons or any demonic song on stage. I mean, that's exactly what she's going to do. OK, I can already see it. That's what she did at the Video Music Awards. So I will pass with a capital P. No shade. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. We got to do a full breakdown on Partisan Fontaine's diss record that he dropped on Megan called The Person. And it is juicy. So he starts off the song and said, I like to apologize for no longer keeping up with your lies or supporting your half truths. And I'm like, damn, more than one lie? So she been lying for more than one thing in regards to partisan Fontaine? Interesting. He said, You talk ish about everybody. He named a few people. I think Kellen is her hairdresser. 
Okay, the guy that does her hair, she talked ish about him according to Partisan Fontaine. I wonder if he heard that. And then he said, except the person in the mirror staring. Um, he said, you talk shit like you Keisha, then crying like a Karen. Oh, oh, that is facts. No shade. He said, F awards that you won. He said, a lot has happened in these last two years, but this is the part you sharing. I just wish you tell the whole truth. When we're going through ish. Okay, so he's saying that she didn't tell the truth about the break. Party told Megan to sit down for a second, girl. You need to hear this. Be for real, you ain't realistic. Got lipo. Then you started posting gym pics. See, I don't really talk about Megan Thee Stallion surgery like that. Um, you know, because the Donnies want to drag you if you say anything negative about Megan. But I know Megan got her nose done, okay? Um, that was one thing I definitely knew about. Um, but I'm like, lipo. I'm like, girl, why was you lying saying that you was all natural? Damn. He said, had me beefing with N-words. You know you was effing. Beautiful girl, but your soul is disgusting. Damn. He said, you got everything, but you still ain't happy. True. He said that you should be showing some... Hire detectives, girl. You the feds. Not in your house. Not in your bed. But you lying to people. You're sick in the head. I'm like, why he call her the feds? That was very interesting to me. I mean, is she the feds because she said that you was cheating? Or is she the feds because she lied on touring? Okay, because I find that very interesting how he called her the feds. Um, And then for him to say that her soul is disgusting, well... Her soul wasn't that disgusting if you was with her for two years, okay? If somebody got a disgusting soul, you should be leaving a lot quicker, party, no shade. He also said that he was going to pick out a ring. Um, he said that she went on TV and lied to Gail King. He said he found out with the rest of the world, treated her like a queen. Whole time, um, he was a clown in a circus. Um, he said, this ain't for Megan the Stallion. This is for Megan the person. He said, you know, you was the devil and was a serpent. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this is when my mouth was on the floor. Party said the same N words that you did tags for the beat. You let those nigga tag and let him beat. You let me give them dabs when we meet. So wait a minute. Megan the Stallion is smashing for beats. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. And she not even working with the top producers. Wow, this is crazy. And then he said, I asked you to your face, did you F them niggas? And clearly, um, she lied. He said, but I never seen you swallow or drop accountability. You fall out with everyone of your vicinity. Is it depression or hostility? Wow. He said that Megan basically cheated on him first. He said he caught her texting N-word. He said, how you want grace but lack empathy? Till this day, I'm not your enemy. And then he said when she came back from vacation, she started acting weird. She started acting strange. Overall, he definitely put Megan on blast, okay? But you can't get mad at him because Megan did it to him first, okay? Um, she always... Be telling people, oh, this person did this to me. This person did that to me. But she do never take accountability, okay? It's always the victim mentality with Megan Thee Stallion, okay? She should have kept her mouth shut when it comes to partisan because I can see him revealing a lot more secrets. And I'm like, damn, he really had to go in? Well, at least he didn't talk about the label executives that she allegedly smashed. I mean, um... Moving on to Shark Teeth. Um, so allegedly, Shark Teeth is not happy about this disc record of Megan Thee Stallion. Okay? Because she is in the middle. She just did Bozos with Megan Thee Stallion. They're supposed to be touring together in 2024 and putting out a WAP EP. And her writer, Partisan Fontaine, is dissing Megan after their breakup. Okay? So allegedly, the queen of surgery ain't too happy about this, okay? She's in a tough position because she cool with Megan and Partisan Fontaine, you know, writes most of her hits, hasn't wrote any recent hits, 
but he writes most of her hits and are beefing. So whose side should Cardi B take? I think she should be loyal to Party. Okay, he wrote most of your hits, make it ain't write you no hit, and Bozo's flopped, no shade. Um, so I think she should do the right thing inside with Party. Now moving on to Scratch Off, um, Queen Fish did an interview um, basically saying that Scratch Off um, should have never talked about her and compared her to a big blunt um, and to put it in the trash song that came out like six months ago. Ash Miracle. As black women in the industry, mm -hmm. the only way that the world is going to go around in our world the way we want it to is if we come together. Mm -hmm. Dead ass. And if you're going to be that person to speak about a body Ash when Miracle. we trying to stop you know what I'm saying? And trying to just, you know, spread body positivity. And you see what me, Lizzo goes through. You see what I go through. Like, yo, like, we're real people. And we trying to change that. So I don't make it right for you to keep, you know, making it a thing. Mm. That's how I feel about it. I, you could talk about my body. But it's like when it's coming from someone that, nigga, a lot of little girls look up to. And you feel me? A lot of people highly respect someone that's like, nigga, no. You have to make better decisions on, on how you want to. Mm -hmm. handle your career that's how i feel about it mm -hmm. first of all nobody looks up to little scratch off nobody really respects little scratch off in the industry and queen fish this song came out seven months ago why are you still talking about that line oh my blunt is big as quayla ray like stop it let it go you hold it on for no reason move on and then moving on to queen b um, the Renaissance, a film by Queen B, is going to pull in more than 20 million opening weekend, they're saying. So let me know if this is a bop or flop for Queen B. So Cassie did settle her lawsuit with Diddy um, when she accused him of arring and raping her for years. Um, I believe that she probably got Close to 30, maybe like $20 million. I don't feel like she got the full 30, only because she was asking for 30 before she filed a lawsuit and he said no. So settle means that they came to an agreement, okay? And they don't have to go to court. But I don't feel like this was, you know, justice because Diddy um, could bend over any woman, man, or transgender and then pay them off and continue to roam the streets. He's a billionaire. Cassie should have pressed charges against Diddy instead of asking for money, which I understand she's having financial issues, so she needs the money. At the end of the day, this is not real justice because he's able to do it to more people. She should have put him behind bars because I know she had a lot of evidence. That's why he didn't want to take it to trial, okay? Um, and he settled it in one day. So with that being said, I'm a little bit disappointed in Cassie for the fact that it's coming off as a money grab because at the end of the day, he needs to be behind bars, not on the street. But anyway, have a great day.